Hi guys, I just want to say hi and uh, the video I'm going to post, uh, you'll see the uh, end results of what happened. You'll actually see it nailed. Today, my face is pretty much on fire right now and I've used a very mild cleanser to take off the product that I'm going to show you in this video. Um, from the start of the video, I just want you guys to know this is not a product that I recommend. Um, <laughs> if you have a low sensitivity, this may work for you. I don't know if you're going to have to experiment, but if you've been watching my videos for a while, I've been uh, on YouTube for uh, since 2014 and so it's been quite a while this is a learning process and here I am it's 2018 and I'm still learning guys so I want to make you aware of this it, it's something that can happen I was <laughs> I'm just gonna the reason I'm back on here I was kind of angry with myself and my husband said you know don't be angry at yourself it's it is a learning process and uh, so I just want I want to put this announcement at the beginning of this video I will kind of make the same announcement at the end but um, you know here I am and it's it's I, I've been a while doing this and uh, for someone starting out I just want to I guess kind of stress and at some point in time I kind of let my guard down a little bit but here it is this is a perfect learning example of sometimes you cannot trust a certification you really have to make sure you read the ingredients and I I thought I was doing that. It's just one of those things where I was excited about a new product. It was something I was trying out for the spring and the summer. And I looked at those certifications. I, I actually bought it from Vitacost and the product that I'm going to be doing in this video. And that's what I looked up. Uh, certified, or not certified, but gluten-free sunscreens. And this is what came up. And I saw certified gluten-free. And you guys have heard me stress over and over again. I usually trust certified gluten-free products. This is... I mean, this part right now is just on fire. It hurts so bad, and it's a, it. This is another reaction to gluten. Uh, so, uh, stay tuned. Watch the video if you'd like. I just want to put this warning ahead of it, and just kind of a wake up call that you really have to, to do your research. And like I said, I've been doing this now five years, and it's, it's sometimes it just happens, but. Um, I, I do not feel right about this product. I don't feel right about the company. I'm not sure. I I bought some other sunscreens. I'm going to go check those now and see what the ingredients are in them. But um, the same thing happened to another company. I, I'm not going to call them out right now. But if you've been watching for a while, you know that they had a shampoo that contained, it was not hydrolyzed wheat, but it was a hydrolyzed, I think it was barley. Um, and I was getting sick from using that shampoo and it was a certified gluten-free. They're not certified gluten-free anymore. I believe they're just uh, verified gluten-free, but now they no longer contain that ingredient in their products. So I'm not sure if they got um, in trouble. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but I've noticed that their ingredient list has changed, their certification has changed. And um, again, I just, I do not feel I think this company would get in trouble if they claimed their product was vegan and they had beeswax in it or if they claimed that they were cruelty free and you found out that they were testing on animals and um, or if to me gluten is very much in the same line as a peanut allergy if if a ch parent if my child had an allergy to peanuts and there was peanuts in a product there would be a lawsuit and I don't know why um, sooner or later because there are more and more people like me uh, let me know in the in the comments if you guys are as sensitive as I am or how you found me or if you're on a gluten-free diet if you're gluten-free lifestyle based on medical needs I would love to know how you guys found me and what you I, honestly what do you think about companies that do this um, you know what are your thoughts and feelings on this I posted an Instagram I tagged the company on it uh, I just I I don't know this is just I think this is wrong on so many levels so um, this is where this video is starting I don't it's not very positive so far <laughs> but uh, yeah if you guys want to watch the video and see what I thought of the product and then the end result uh, you guys can see uh, but I want to be very upfront you guys know I'm always honest with you and this is one of those things that I tested and this is a result and I I was not going I was just gonna let this video go but you know and not even post it but I think you guys need to know I this is this is my life this is what happens and um, I, I want you to guys to know I keep saying this you know I get very very sick or something happens this is what happens and you guys now see I uh, hope you will watch the video and then definitely leave me a comment let me know your thoughts down below I'd really appreciate hearing that from you guys and maybe we can open up this discussion
I'm making <laughs> this little introduction. Proceed with caution, guys. Little symbol right here says certified gluten free. Hi guys, it's Melissa. I hope everyone's having a fabulous day today. Today's video, I'm going to do another try on foundation. I'm going, I have chosen the My Shell. This is the Sun Protection Sun Shield Liquid Tint SPF 50. This is in the shade Nude and it is in light medium. They have one other shade. They only have two and then they have one that's untinted. And so um, I believe that must be maybe medium dark. I'm not sure. So uh, this is the lightest uh, color they have. I'm going to put the links above. The other review of the first foundation in the series that I did was for the Fit Glow Beauty Vita Active Foundation. And you guys, if you saw that, you know I'm on the pale end of the range. And I I was the first color in that uh, shade scale. So in doing the last video, I found out there's a huge difference between what it looks like indoors and what it looks like outdoors. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did with that last video. I'm going to apply this. I'm going to uh, wait two hours or around that time frame to see if there's any oxidation or any issues with the color of the foundation changing or the formula changing. And uh, yeah, I'll take a picture and that's what I'll post and you guys will see the review of that and then take you throughout the day, however long I decide to wear this particular foundation so that you guys know how I feel about it and give you a little bit of information about the product as well. Now, in the last video, I just did the foundation. Today, it's going to be a little different because I have high school conferences. My oldest has a conference today at the high school and uh, so yeah I have to go to that so I'm going to have to do a little bit more than the foundation today. Uh, let you guys know a little bit about this that is, is very liquidy. I don't know if it says that at all on here. Let me go grab my glasses. I'll be right back. You guys know I can't see squat now without my uh, cheaters. Oops, I'm knocking things off my table. So the back of the product says, so this is what it states. It's a sheer tinted oil-free formulation with 100% mineral uh, broad spectrum protection. It's UVA, UVB protection, reduces photo aging, and it's a matte finish. It does contain zinc oxide. It's at 16.1%. It says to use, shake well, use daily, allow product to absorb completely before applying makeup. Uh, so this is a skin tint, so if you wanted to use this almost like a primer, you can. I'm going to use it. I, You guys know I don't like to feel a lot of weight on my uh, face. I'm more of a light to medium type coverage when it comes to a foundation. So even though they're saying that you can use this under, let's say you wanna apply a powder, uh, you could definitely do that. So that is an option. Uh, it says apply liberally and evenly 15 minutes before sun exposure. That's what most sunscreens will tell you and reapply after swimming or sweating in at least every two hours for body and face. But this is a small package and I can't remember the price. I'll try to put that up on the screen somewhere. Um, <laughs> the price of this, it is a, uh, it is a one fluid ounce size container, so I doubt you're going to want Jesus on your face and body at the price that it is. It just, to me, it just doesn't seem like a very cost effective uh, product if you want to use it that way. But uh, it is a certified gluten free product. It is uh, cruelty free, vegan, and you know what? I, even with my cheaters, I cannot tell what that says. Oh, non-GMO. Oofta, boy, am my eyes getting bad. <laughs> oh, it's what happens at 40. I noticed it was that time frame. Bam, couldn't see squat. So uh, anyway, it took about a year before my husband said, dear, you really need to get some type of glasses to see. <laughs> it was really bad when I was having my sons read medication bottles, you know, how the dosage wise. And I'm like, okay, that's getting scary. So anyway, let's go ahead and start this uh, try on. I'm going to pin my hair up because I better get going. Shake this really well and decide what foundation brush. Now, in the last brush, because it was a Fit Glow uh, Beauty product, I had purchased the Fit Glow Beauty. It was their Teddy brush, and it is very, very soft. This one performed beautifully for that foundation. I'm not going to use that one with the uh, tinted moisturizer. Let's see, what brush do I want to use? links and everything will be down below of what I actually use. I know this is a Target up and up uh, face brush and I'm not sure exactly what the name of this was. I'm going to apply, this is actually two pumps guys, um, two pumps of that 
onto my face. And I'm going to grab my mirror, and hopefully there won't be any glares. This is going to be a very lightweight formula. Applying it mainly to the center of my face, and then I will blend out. And if you guys saw that last video, I'm just going to chat with you while I'm doing this, you will notice that the two foundations, the Vita Active, I had purchased the 1.5 and the 1.0, we'll say. Indoors, they looked very, very good. Outdoors, one of them, not so much. So you'll have to go and watch that video to see. But holy man, did that give me an awareness of what it looks like indoors is not always what it looks like outdoors. And that kind of frightened me in a way, which is another reason I wanted to do this series is because I'm thinking how many more foundations, I mean, I know I have the 100% pure that that really oxidized and I could see that indoors. I was thinking, how bad was that outdoors and where did I go when I was wearing that, <laughs> you know? So I'm like, okay, that was, what do people think? when I was wearing that. Now again, I do not mind any particular um, flaws showing through. I do have some sunspots on my cheeks. I'm a girl that was raised in the South. I'm a grits, a girl raised in the South. Uh, so I do have some telltale signs of being, for one, in a climate that had a lot of sun and I lived outdoors because I was a tomboy and I was always in the sun and it just was not a thing where we wore sun protection unless we went to the beach because we spent a lot of time at the beach. I remember my mom maybe applying sunscreen. Uh, she probably did it more often than I remember, but uh, that was one of those things that only usually when we went down and spent like a week at the beach do I remember sunscreen going on. But other than that, you know, waking up, going outside at home and playing outdoors, uh, going, to, my dad played softball, so we'd always be at softball tournaments on the weekends. I don't ever remember sunscreen then, but I didn't, I didn't burn either. Here, since I've lived in Minnesota, I am so pale. It's funny. It is funny because my nickname growing up was Blackberry because I was so dark, and I just, I literally, <laughs> I was very, very dark. And my, it's funny, my youngest son, when he was born, he has a very dark olive complexion like I did when I was younger. So it's funny how, because I've lived here in Minnesota almost 20 years. My husband is for, originally from Minnesota. That's how we ended up here. He was uh, stationed at Shaw Air Force Base in the Carolinas. And we met a mutual girlfriend that I worked with at a mall, set us up. And it's funny how I've lived here, and the more I live here, the paler my skin's gotten. And, and like now I said, I'm the palest end of foundations, and I've never <laughs> been like that. And sometimes it's kind of bad because I can't find a foundation match. So, yeah. So, anyway, this is what the foundation looks like right now. I did apply two pumps. Um, I do have a little bit of hormonal acne. So what I'm going to take, this is the 100% Pure Second Skin. This is their concealer, and it is in the shade Sand. Now, normally this is my summer color, but uh, I think I can get away with using this now. Uh, and I'm going to apply a little bit to those breakouts that I have. I don't have a breakup at, a breakout here. I actually have a mole that I kind of try to hide. Um, and I'm going to use another up and up brush or duo. Uh, one was, if you guys can tell, the tapered. I think I'm gonna use this one. I originally picked up this one. And this one had the tapered and this is the rounded. I'm gonna use the rounded. Uh, this is a great, I, I'm not sure what they consider this eye or concealer, but I picked it up and I use it as a concealer, like a concealer brush. I, I'm not one that really likes fingers on my face. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. And I am going to cover up some of the sunspots on my cheeks a little bit with this because it does blend in so well, just to add a little bit of coverage to those areas. This 100% pure concealer, I really like this. I did try the foundation at one point in time and I ended up returning it. It was, it's weird. It was 
just did not work well with my skin. It broke down a lot, but the concealer, I can use this, and I have used this kind of all over my face, um, pretty much the same way I did with this, uh, with the my shell, the, uh, what are they, they actually call this? It's the sun protection, but I'm not sure if it's it's liquid tint, the sun shield liquid tint. And I'm just going to, whatever's on my brush, I'm just going to apply anything. But, but I just like the way that this looks. It's very natural. If I do use the concealer that has taken those sunspots down uh, very significantly. The blush that I'm going to use is the Gotta Glow. This is by Red Apple Lipstick, and I'm going to show there you guys go. And then this is a Real Techniques. This is the stippling brush. I love this for blush because it just picks up. Uh, if you guys know, this is a dual fiber brush. So from here to here is densely packed, but this is very loosely packed. So it just picks up the perfect little amount of color. I'm not sure if you have dark, dark skin, um, a skin tone, it would work, but it might add a nice little flush. But I love this for light to medium. And you guys know I have light skin tone is just the perfect color and it works i think for every age you guys know i'm over 40 uh, mid 40s now so yeah just just really lovely i love that it's a perfect youthful blush it's pinky uh it looks a little more mauve i think on camera uh, it's it's a beautiful color it leans a little bit more mauve a little pink but um yeah pretty pretty so I've done that. Now let's go ahead and do eyes. What I'm going to do is very basic because I do have conferences. What do I want to use here? I'm going to use uh, two of the palettes that I just picked up from Zuzu Lux. I have the uh, Sensation. This is from their newest coastal line. They have this one and I can't remember what the other one is that has more of the uh, steely gray colors and a little bit more golding. I really want to get the other palette uh, that's on my wish list, maybe for Mother's Day. I'm not sure. And then this was on sale. This was the Aphrodite Eye Palette. So what I'm going to do, I don't want to blind you guys with the mirror. I'm going to apply uh, the two. This is a, it's called Sparrow. It is a lilac color. And then we have Rivet, which is a darker purple color. And then I'm going to take from the Sensation Palette. I believe I'm going to play around with this color, which is called Morn, and that's M-O-R-N, as in early daybreak, not Morn, as in sorrowful morning. <laughs> so, see, I'm going to use this Eco Tools. It's actually a controlled setting brush. I'm going to take this color in Morn, which is a light tan color. I'm going to apply that all over my eye. So it's going to give me a very natural almost the same color as my skin tone with a little bit more that is a i haven't tried these at all so first impressions this shadow is gorgeous guys and i just i always use some type of brush like this a setting brush because i don't like to apply a lot of color to my eyes you guys have probably if you've been watching me for a while you will notice that that i like i'm not a drama uh, not a dramatic eye type <laughs> I guess I I should I like to play up my eyes uh, a little bit but uh, it just in very practical I just more natural colors tend to be what I go toward now I'm going to take this color in Sparrow which is the lighter color out of the Aphrodite palette and I'm going to apply this all over my lid uh, I'm going to use the red apple lipstick this is their wet dry shadow brush and i'm going to apply that all over my lid up into my crease i'm going to darken that shade up with a second coat Uh, hopefully you guys will be able to see this. Uh, it is just very lightly. I've applied it. And I've got conferences at school, so I am not going to go there with this big, bold eye look. So that's just not going to work. So the next thing I'm going to do is take my Red Apple liner brush. There we go. I love the Red Apple lipstick uh, brushes. Uh, they just are, I, I love them. They wash, they clean, they just beautifully, they don't shed or anything. I'm taking the color Rivet and I'm going to line my eye with that color, the darker purple in this quad. Um, I'm going to start underneath. And 
and I'm gonna have to use a clean brush because I ended up putting way too much on there. Okay, and I'm gonna do the other side. And, I and I've noticed my facial expression, expressions have gotten more and more. Gotta stretch that out as I've gotten older because I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, for one, I notice I'm not sleeping as well as I used to. The <laughs> the moon affects my sleep pattern now. Just getting older, hormones affect my sleep pattern. Anybody else going through this? Oh. Whew. I don't know. I was talking to neighbor ladies, and I don't know. Is it early sign of menopause? I just, oh, yeah. I'm like, what the heck is it? I like my sleep, and lack of sleep does not make me a happy camper. So now I'm going to just line the top of my eyes lightly, shading that line uh, right above the lash line. Normally it takes me five to 10 minutes to do a look if I'm in my bathroom. I just, I, it takes me a lot longer on camera. I smudge that line above my eyes just a little bit. There we go, and underneath I need to smudge. Okay, so now I'm going to curl my lashes. And I'm gonna hide behind the mirror because I can't do this on the screen. And I have to curl my lashes every day because, and normally even if I don't do put on makeup or anything, that's something I always do is curl my lashes. Um, I just, I have to. <laughs> it's just one of those things because my lashes are just stick straight and they will start to droop down. It just makes my eyes look heavy. And as I was talking about with the little bit of bags under the eyes, it's not a pretty sight. So now I'm going to apply my Red Apple Lipstick Mascara. This is my go-to mascara. So I'm applying that to upper and lower lashes. Hopefully this foundation will work out because I really don't want to have to redo my makeup. But I'm trying to do this one and done and hoping that it is great. I want to swatch these for you guys because I haven't done this. Sparrow is a light. Oh, Hopefully it will show up. Now this is two different palettes. I'm going to show you finger swatches. Okay. This one right here is Morn. That is going to be from the Sunset, or not the Sunset, the Sensation palette. That's this color right here, which is a light brown. It's like a light tan color. So that's the color right there, or right here. The other two colors that I used on my eyes are this color, which is Sparrow, and this color, which is Rivet. So this in the middle is Rivet, and this is Sparrow. So this is a light gray with a little bit, it looks lilac in the pan, but it's got more gray. So I am wearing a gray and white striped top, so I was kind of going with that. And this is, it is definitely, it almost has like a, oh gosh, it looks like a dark purple. Changes to a dark gray, has purple undertones to it. These colors are fabulous together. So that is it for the look. I have not put on lipstick yet. I don't even actually have lipstick out here. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just going to use Audrey. Uh, I think that would be a really good color that plays up well with every color that is by Red Apple Lipstick. And again, I will list everything down below. And uh, remember, I'm gonna check back in with you in a couple hours and uh, let you see how the foundation is setting up so far. So talk with you guys in a little while. I have been testing the sunscreen outside. I've been outside. It is in the mid 60s here today in Minnesota. Spring has finally showed up. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, it is almost four o'clock. I need to head out the door. I've got to go meet my husband so we can head over to the high school for conferences. Color is a perfect match for me outside. I'll post pictures. You guys can see that. Um, I don't have any uh, demarcation whatsoever. Uh, the color is flawless. It just evens out my skin tone. Like I said, I do have a little bit of sunspots from uh, just being in the sun so much. So this is kind of going to help uh, with the sunscreen. 
and I believe it was a 50. I, I, I put away the makeup right now. So, or it's actually, they don't call it a foundation. So it can be a primer if you want to put a powder or something on top of it. But I love the color. This is my go-to uh, put it on out the door sort of product. And you guys know I like that. I like multitasking. Get it done. Let's go. <laughs> you know. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this review. I will check back in one more time before I take it off uh, this evening and uh, let you guys know how it has performed. Again, it is almost four o'clock. There's no wear. There's no showing through no oiliness or anything around my nose uh, I do mention that I get usually uh, shiny but it is a matte formula and it has done that I don't have any extra shining anywhere in that t-zone area so I will check back in one more time and I better head to conferences my husband's gonna be waiting for me see you guys in a little while Here's the issues that I have. It says it's made without GMOs, gluten, parabens, petroleum, sulfates, artificial fragrances, and colors. Made without gluten. This is the issue that lies because on the back, hydrolyzed wheat protein. Okay. And I don't know if you guys can see this. See this red patchy? Uh, it actually hurts a little bit here. All of this, <laughs> you guys know I'm on the sensitive end of the scale. I noticed this was getting some type of, it doesn't itch or anything, but there is definitely a reaction. So I have an issue when it says certified gluten-free and they have the label here. You guys have heard me say that. It says certified gluten-free on the packaging right here. I think I would be upset if this said it was a, because uh, it does say vegan and cruelty free, if it had either of those issues, I think the company would be, I think they would get in a lot of trouble. What is it with companies no, made without gluten? Where do you think wheat, or what wheat is? Um, this just bothers me. I don't know. This is one of those things where I say read the packaging over and over because I'm looking, when I bought this, certified gluten-free. And I'm looking at the packaging and I'm like, okay, is this a misprint? I, you know, on the website, I'm like, I don't know. It's certified gluten-free. How the hell do you get off having a certified gluten-free product and you have hydrolyzed wheat protein in it? So I'm a little upset with that. I didn't, I, I should know by now, read the freaking labels or you know I just I don't know I I had to go back and find the packaging dig through I do keep packaging for quite a while but it's nowhere on the bottle and it says certified gluten-free so of course I bought the product I put it in my cabinet I'm like okay we'll test this so this is definitely this is a, a reaction this is what I have guys um uh, sometimes something like this even though it's on my skin times I've mentioned uh, you've heard me say this before. Sometimes I get just as ill. Um, I've had that issue. You've heard me say that with the mascara before. And that was just a horrible experience. It's one that would have ended me up in the hospital. But I'm like, this would be a lawsuit if they said without peanuts and some child had anaphylactic shock. Well, I've occasionally gotten to almost that point from a product. What? I, I just don't. I don't know. Guys, so uh, again, I'm putting this is at the end of the clip, but I'm going to put a warning at the beginning of the clip. Proceed with caution. If you're not highly sensitive like I am, you may not have an issue. There are people that, you know, even have, state they have celiacs and they can eat bread and then they take some type of tablet that, you know, an enzyme tablet that dissolves that or they'll take charcoal to, uh, get rid of the side effects or whatnot. I can't do that. I don't have that option. This is almost um, not life threatening. I'm not going to put it that well. Anybody, if you do research on celiacs, it can be life threatening. It, you have higher risk of cancer and higher risk of diseases. And just, I just, I don't know guys. So this is, this is a no go for me, but that is a huge factor for me. Don't, don't put certified gluten-free on a product and you contain 
hydrolyzed wheat, a gluten, I just, yeah, it, it's, I don't think a parent of a child that has some type of issue with peanuts would feel good if a company put peanuts in their product and then, you know, said, oh, we took it out, but so what if your child has an issue with it? This is one of those things where more and more people are getting like me and I, I'm just waiting for lawsuits to come out and I, I, I don't want to be at that part or that point to actually pursue that. I, I just, I've written the company. I've let them know about my opinion on this and I've posted on, I picked this up from Vitacost. So I have posted my review on it on Vitacost and I just, I, I don't know guys. So, but I want you guys to be aware of this because someone would say, okay, this is certified gluten free, but it's not it's not. So I'm just, I'm just calling it at that. So uh, I hope you guys have a very good day. I hope you have a happy, healthy, and gluten-free day. I'm going to, I can do to tone down this reaction that I'm having now and pray that I don't get sick later on. So uh, I hope again, you guys will um, uh, take this for what it is. It's, this is my life guys. So I just want to be open and honest with you and uh, let you know. So uh, <laughs> with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.